Hello everyone and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. My name is Melanie V. We are now on to episode 75 on day 149. Okay, let's get this store open. Lights are on. And of course the shelves are stocked. Well, for the most part anyway. And the back room, once again, it's fully stocked. Hooray. And we have a whole $300 left over. We might be able, maybe even able to afford our bills. No, I was wrong. We can afford one of them. Let's go with that bill. $245 for our bills now. That is crazy high. And of course, the very first customer had to come to our checkout. Why wouldn't they? There's four other checkouts, but you know, choose this one. And $12. Sir, you got me up here for $12. Ah, uh, fine. There you go. Um, let's go back and check out the management menu again. Okay, what are we working on getting next time? So we have one more license that we have unlocked. And this is going to be freezer items. Now the thing is, I would like to get this license, but I don't really have any place to put my freezer. I mean, if we move things around, I suppose we can fit one in. I just don't want to really move anything around. The other thing we can do is purchase Section 11, which is way pricier than getting the license. 24600 Are we ever going to be able to afford that? I think we're going to need a whole lot more money in order to do that. Okay, customer number two of the day. Got a lot of cleaning supplies here. Oh, and she's making some pasta. Uh, 152.25. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate you. There you are. Have a lovely day. And this gentleman, not so much. $30.75. Sir, you're not helping the cause very much, are you? But still have a lovely day anyway. Now, let's see. Where can we put our freezer? Um, what if we switch the layout to paste the freezers in the opposite direction? Would that really help much? No, not really. Could we put some like right in the front here? Yeah, maybe we can fit like three freezers going lengthwise this way. Maybe that's what we'll have to do. Is three freezers even necessary? Let's check out the license again. So, we'll be right with you. We got green beans, ice cream, two types of ice cream, some more pizza, potato pops, and veggie mix. So, yeah, I think that might take three freezers. So, yeah, that is our next aim. Let's help these folks out here. Got quite a lineup now. 5375, please. There you are. Now, I think if we can get to 7,000 in sales for today, that would be absolutely amazing. And definitely we'll have to have over 80 customers to even get there, I think. But let's see how things go. Well, it has not been very busy in here tonight, unexpectedly. But it has been quite a mixed bag of uh, payments. We had some big ones, we got some little ones, and we got some in-between ones. Okay, folks, I am still open. I guess we can go close up now since it is 9 p.m. The moment I leave, people are going to come to my tell. One more person coming in. Yeah, I think it's safe to close up now. There is still quite a few customers, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to make our goal of 7,500. P. 
people just weren't willing to part with their money today. Okay, that guy's just gonna straight up avoid my tail. <laughs> okay, maybe we should help with loading up some stuff. And we should check to see if we can get anything on to the shelf refilled. That's not being purchased. Why aren't people purchasing this? Because I have so much extra. Okay, well, we're getting a lineup at our till now. Let's set that aside right there. Okay, 141 please. And you get a dollar back. Have a good night. And ma'am, your total is 117.50 with cash. We'll definitely take that. There you are. Okay, just a couple of customers on that till. Couple over there. Let's get back to loading up. Well, we should see if we need to order anything, actually. We should probably order some potatoes. And let's get that into our cart right now. And I think I want to order the two freezers as well. Maybe three, actually. Oh, they're so expensive. My goodness. 1200 for three of them. We're going to need a lot more money because we need like a total of 12,000. I think we need like 20,000 in the bank, really. Okay. Um, we don't need to restock anything. We need to see if anything is completely out. Maybe some toilet paper. Oh, I think we have enough to last another day. Oh, we need some lighting back here. Holy, it's dark. Uh, we're out of cereal. Okay, let's get some more of that. And get a couple of boxes. And I think that is good for tonight's order. Okay, are we out of customers now? All the customers are gone. We might need an extra two more boxes of potatoes. I'm really second guessing those freezers now. Should we get those freezers? I'm going to take it out of there for now. Let's get a couple more potatoes in there though. And we'll place that order in the morning. Okay, for today, we had 82 customers, two people complaining about pricing, but we didn't make enough in sales. We needed a thousand more in sales. Things aren't looking that great. Okay, eggs, bread, ground beef, and cereal. Let's change some prices. And we'll have to lower this price. That looks like a good price. And the bread is over here. Which bread was it? Not this one. Gotta be this one. Oh, no, those are the same. <laughs> oh, no, these prices are all just fine. Um, Some ground beef is right here. Indeed it is. Oh, wow, we're going to lose 75 cents on this. Oh, no. And the eggs, the four-pack eggs. That is not a four-pack. This is, though, oh, we can slightly raise the price. 25 whole cents. We're going to be rich. Okay, let's go place our order for today. Get that ordered. So I don't know if we're going to be able to afford a license today, but let's open up the store. And how does things look for the shelves? 
Are we out? We are. There's quite a few things that they're still working on. These guys are always working hard. They've got a lot to do. Okay. Well, we'll get some potatoes out right now. Oh, look how nicely the boxes are stacked. Except for this rogue box. Let's see if we need any of this on the shelf right now. We're good on the shelf. So these can just go right into the back room. And is this another cereal? It is indeed. Well, we only ordered cereal and potatoes, and potatoes are obviously in the really big box. I'll go load this up on the shelf right away. There is one box done. And we'll do another one. We're really helping the guys out right now. Are we going to get a customer soon? Probably. And one more. And we're good to go. Okay. Um, can we make space on here? How much are in a box? I can feel there's 18 in a box. So... We can't put that there. Oh, we can if we can congest one of the boxes. We're not going to worry about that. What about the fries? You stay. There we go. Can we get the fries on the shelf? There we go. Done. And just in time for our first customer of today. What is this going to be? It's going to be 102. Yes. That is the benchmark for today. Let's go with it. So definitely having the same goals. Like if we can get 7,500, we really need to get like 7,500 per day in order to do well. And over 80 customers for sure. And no change needed for you, sir. Thank you very much. But we'll see how things go for today. Okay, so 53.25, and there's your 75 cent change. Well, we have been incredibly slow, way slower than normal, I think. But it is the end of the day, so we should look at closing up now. There's still quite a few people in here, though, so maybe we can sell a whole lot more stuff. Let's double check. Anyone coming this way? Just one person. He's going in. Okay, we can close up. And back to our tail. Finally, now we're starting to get some customers. And $58. Though they're not really spending that much, are they? Thanks, sir. Uh, this is a nice big order. Very good. 136, please. Got a dollar back for you. Have a good night. And another big one. And 125. Oh, she's got a lot of red products. <laughs> uh, 127, 25. Okay, things are looking not bad now for the last few customers. But we're definitely not making our goal for today. Unless the next few customers spend a couple hundred each. Which I'm doubtful they will do. But let's go ahead and see. Oh, we're running out of vodka. Uh-oh. Do we even have any back here? 
We certainly do. Oh, this is not the vodka shell. What are we doing? That's the keg shell. And we're out of kegs. Okay, well, we're not completely out. We have a few here. So people don't panic. One customer over there. One there. Okay, that's the last of the customers. And there's no one in the streets. I wonder if I turn my lights back on, would people come in again? They probably would. But we're not going to do that. Okay, I think we are done for today. Oh no. Where was this guy hiding? He wasn't there before, was he? <laughs> okay, I think for sure he's got to be the last one. It is safe for us to end the day. So for today, we have made, well, we had 84 customers. Only one complaint about pricing, which is not that bad. Um, 7,600 in sales, actually. I'm actually really surprised about that. Things really picked up in the last little bit there. So our total profits for today is 7,562. And our bank balance is going to start with 14000 for tomorrow. Not bad. And I think that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.